YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Paulus Harris, a.k.a. The Medusa. Hey, if this is your first time, go ahead, hit this subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Every time I post up new content. Listen, people. Every time I come on here, I actually really try to tell y'all what the fuck is going on and why it's actually really happening the way that it is. And for the most part, if you remember, I want y'all to actually really go back uh, a few months, right? Let's just say for shits and giggles, probably around about the, probably anywhere between, let's just say anywhere between the September and November time frame. When President Trump, I forget what the fuck was going on then, right? But if y'all actually like really stop and think about, he came out and probably said probably one of the biggest quotes that he ever said in his doggone professional career, right? Whether it's at a whether it was him being a business person or even as president of the United States. He said, This is the calm before the storm. Now, for the most part, you got to ask yourself the question, okay, well, why would a president say some shit like that, right? Now, I know what a lot of y'all probably going to think, oh, now all of a sudden, you want to say that Trump is involved with the coronavirus. No, I'm not, but I will say this much. President Trump, just like every other president that this country has had, they have a certain agenda that they must follow, right? Otherwise, they ain't finna get elected. Plain and simple. So, for people to, for, 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 you know, for a president to say something like that, you had to know that he knew what the fuck was gonna happen next, right? And for the most part, I actually really want y'all to actually really stop and think about something for a minute, right? Throughout history, so-called history, right? These motherfuckers have actually really been trying to get rid of us. And when I say us, I'm talking about everybody. Regardless of what color that you think that you may be. Right? They've been actually really been trying to get, with, get rid of us since day one. Think about it. You look at the, look at what happened with the, the, at, at the, uh, the Tuskegee uh, experiment. And then in 1973, oh my God. Right? That's when they actually really took homosexuality and it was no longer classified as a mental disorder. And then, and that was 47 years ago. Right? So then, let's just look at this. 1973, that happens. 1980, age happens. Y'all see where I'm going with this, right? So, Again, look at you. Uh, then again, look who was in charge at the damn time, right? See, everybody wants to sit up here and holler about all oh, the president, this, that, and the third. The president ain't nothing more than a goddamn front man. It is no different than when a motherfucker, when you pull a 12 hour shift or a 24 hour shift, then you tell the next motherfucker, okay, well, hey, look, this is what I did, this is what needs to be done. Right? So, all I'm trying to tell y'all, when Donald Trump came out and said, hey, this is the calm before the storm. Right? Now, you might want to sit up here and say, did he know something about it? Of course he did. But then again, it's just like, okay, you, I hear this shit, okay, when he turned the country over, state of emergency. Okay, so now he can't, he can't say or do shit no more. Well, just just look at it like this. He couldn't say or do shit before he did that. So again, everybody coming out with, oh, look at this. Look at that. Okay. And your point is what? The president ain't never been able to do shit, people. Right? But... The first time some shit go wrong, guess who the fuck they guess who the fuck they finna point the finger at? 
right? So this whole so what I'm saying with this whole coronavirus deal, right? Y'all already know what the fuck it is, but you're still walking around here with the goddamn mask on, and I don't know what the fuck for, right? All of this shit is still closed down, but they said only essential people can only work. So now you picking and choosing. So here it is, people. They talk about social distancing. It's more than just social distancing. It's goddamn discrimination. If you actually really stop and think about it for a minute, because they gonna because here it is. These motherfuckers got the nerve to tell y'all. That you are not essential. So you're going to sit at home. And think that $1,200 is going to really cover all of my goddamn expenses? I mean, come on people. Let's act like really stop and look at this for a minute. This is discrimination at its highest level. But then again. When y'all act like really think that somebody got power. Knowing that they didn't have power to begin with. So all of but but I am saying this. That like I say, the calm the calm before the storm. Trump said that. Now look at what the fuck is going on. Right? But then again, just like what I said, every president that this country has had, they all have to go by a certain agenda. Because if they don't Follow the agenda. You already know what the fuck is going to happen. Ask Abraham Lincoln. Ask JFK. Oh, damn. Both of them are dead now. So you can't ask them shit. But y'all know where the fuck I'm going with this. And then you actually really got to look at other presidents in history. Or what they actually really tried to do. Because they saw this shit coming long time ago. So these motherfuckers, they already know what the fuck be happening. Long time ago. And basically all what the Elite 120 does is to say, hey, look. When you get in office, this is what the fuck is going to happen. Right? Now, if you still actually really want that, then hey, go ahead. We'll throw your name in the bucket for president. And we'll make sure that we pull your name out the, out the goddamn bucket. And we'll give you four years or eight years. You go in there. And you do what the fuck we tell you to do. And then we're going to holler at you after your eight years is up. This is all what the fuck this is, people. So we in the storm because Trump said it was coming. So now what? But then again, you also got to leave it like this. Kim Trails. The heart machine. Last I counted was 13 of the motherfuckers positioned strategically around the globe. So if a storm is truly coming, is it an actual storm? Or is this shit man-made? Just like the goddamn coronavirus. So until then, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell Big Dan, tell Big Bertha, Tell your uncle, tell your auntie, tell your grandma, tell your papa, motherfucker next door, cross street, round the corner. Paulus Harris, aka the Medusa. I'ma holler at y'all.